education that day. Can anyone remind us? As the expressions and the experiences hmm? that woman being instruct his or her fellow woman being about his sexual life. Is that what I said that day? So I paraphrased it. What if you wrote it down in your notes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just like I'm instructing you now. Those expressions, those experiences that your mama or papa will be sharing with you about your sexual life hmm? is what is referred to as. Is what is referred to what? Sexuality education. I want education. to hear your voice. Is referred to what? Sexuality education. That's very fine. So, if your papa has never told you about your sexual life, he supposed to begin to discuss with you about it from the day. Is that okay? Yeah. Even when you get home and you say, Daddy or Mommy, this is what uh, Chris said. When are we going to start it? There is no time that is too late. As we progress in the teaching, I will be telling you the stages from age 18 months to three years. They have their own curriculum of discussion. Then those of three, to eight, they have their own. Eight to twelve, and twelve now to eighteen. Hmm? They have the way of teaching them, so that you won't be teaching someone that is age eighteen. Where is destiny? And destiny will soon be eighteen <laughs> months. We start from there. As soon as you start talking and making sense, that's when you begin. There's no uh, that you don't wait until the person is overgrown. Okay, now. I called for this class and I said that parents are supposed to be here. I am, not the, I am not supposed to teach your daughter or your son about his or her sexual life without you knowing about it. And when you begin to say it at home, you'll be like, I'm the one that's calling your children for you. Mm. Is that okay? Yes. Hey, if I am to teach you, I suppose tell your parents. This is how this thing is supposed to be taught. So when I live here, you, your mama or papa will be like reminding you. You two will also say, this is what we were told. And it will, the relationship between your, you and your father or your mother will be caught there. Mm. And now, when I will finish here and go home, you take a, a, any type of decision that you want because your mama or your papa is not even aware that these are not what you were taught. And when they talk to you they, at home, who taught you this? He said, it's me to is <laughs> <laughs> what he told us in the class. And your mama was not there. He would say, hey, that's what I'm teaching his daughter or his son. So it's a class that, uh, it's a mixed up of a class that I can't be teaching the 18 months here. And I can't be teaching those that are already teenagers here at the same time. But I will be relaying to you the curriculum. That is how it's supposed to be taught, the patterns. So having said that, Sexuality education talks about human sexual anatomy. What do I say? Human, human sexual, sexual anatomy. anatomy. Human sexual what? Anatomy. If I say something, I would like to hear it loud and clear from you people. Now, when we talk about human sexual anatomy, we are talking about the division of the body into private and public parts. Hmm? In my body has you see me now, it's divided into just two in human sexual anatomy. The private part and the public part. The private part and the public part. part. When I'll be writing exams, take note of this very place. The private part and the public part. There is a time we're going to sing a song with it. My body has two parts. The private part and the public part. Oyonatunu. The what? private part and the what? Public oh, part. And as we progress in this teaching, I will not tell you the examples of the parts called the private parts and also the parts that is called the public parts so that you know them and know their functions. And when you, if anybody abuses it for you, you will be able to raise an alarm. I told you people on Wednesday that if you are a girl here and someone see you along the road and say, my wife, that the person is expressing his sexual feelings towards you, and you're supposed to say, I'm not your wife. Didn't I tell you like that? Yeah. And I also taught you that 
Nobody is authorized to kiss you. It's also a part of expressing sexual feelings to someone. It's only your husband. So these are parts that your, your mother and your father are supposed to tell you at home. While you were still at this age, if someone should kiss, you supposed to be by the side. Hmm? And not mouth. It's part of your private parts. Are we getting what I'm saying this morning? Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes. So one of the things you should have in your mind before leaving this class is that nobody is authorized to kiss your mouth. And you are not, you, are, you being a man, you are not supposed to touch the female breast. It's part of her private parts. Are you getting it? So if you do that, it is called sexual abuse. Did I tell you something like that on Wednesday? Yes. Good. So if you do that, it is called sexual abuse. If you kill somebody, it is also called a sexual abuse. And those that cause sexual abuse, they are being arrested and taken to court. And I told you people that they will spend between 14 years to 21 years in imprisonment. Do you want to spend 14 years in imprisonment? No. <laughs> Do you want to spend 21 years in imprisonment? Because you kill somebody. <laughs> so I don't want anyone here to be in a ambot Pre-maximum prison. <laughs> because he kills somebody. <laughs> he said, how you put him out to do the kissing that I tried? <laughs> So begin to know it now. Another thing that we are going to look at while studying sexual, uh, uh, sexuality education is what is called birth control. Hmm? Some people, because they did not study this or nobody told them, they thought that the moment you marry your wife, you just begin to give birth like rats. Mm -hmm. hmm? <laughs> they, you just let the woman born. After all, the Bible says, go into the world hmm? and uh, multiply, increase, fulfill. Mm -mm. If someone takes time to tell you about sexual, uh, sexuality education, you'll find out that muoke gazo is not just an advice, it's an instruction. Hmm? That is, you learn and know how to give birth. It's called birth control. Even in that birth control, if you meet an expert, he will tell you when to give birth to a baby boy or to a baby girl. It's part of what you're supposed to learn in sexuality education so that as you grow, you will be able to know what is expected of you, you and your wife. Are we getting it now? Yes. All right. We are laying foundation. Then another thing we're supposed to know is what is called sexual abstinence. Sexual what? Abstinence. abstinence. Yeah. You don't need to do anything about sex until you get married. Are we getting it now? Nobody should tell you that if you do not have sex with me, uh, you will run mad. There are many ways men, boys will tell their uh, uh, female friends that if you didn't do this, that's why you are having a deck. Eh? You begin to reason it. They will be giving you fake, fake examples. If you have been well told about what sexuality education is all about, you will tell the person that if I have a deck, I will go and buy pain relief. Oh hmm? <laughs> I will buy medicine for headache. I will buy medicine for what? Headache. And not sex. Sex is not medicine for headache, okay? And if a man are having upungu back pain, say because you are not going, you are not meeting with a woman, so you better go and have sex. So you begin like, you have been given an assignment until you have sex before your back pain release. It's a lie. These are the myths. These are the lies that some people tell you. So we need to get all these things. So another lies that our predators tell us is if uh, you do this and you tell your mother, that is if they want they box you to a corner and they want to have sex with you and they say if you tell your mother, your mother will die. Or if you tell your father, your father will die. What is he trying to do? You want to close your you want to close your oh. so that you won't tell anybody. And you continue hiding that from your parents. You continue, because you, are, you love mommy, you don't want mommy to die. So you'll be hiding it, hiding it, and you'll be doing what will cause big problem to mommy and daddy in future. So we need to get all this. And that's why our parents are supposed to be here. And those that are also watching us online are supposed to minister that in their church. It's not a bad thing if you tell the children and if you tell the whole congregation about their sexual life. So those who think it's a, a taboo, you are, you are spoiling the children. I don't know what you mean by spoiling the children, no. But this is how to go about it. Then, 